Hello YouTubers, diecast collectors, what is up? It is me, the J-Man 63. We have a live haul uh, haul video for you guys coming up here. <coughs> Excuse me, I've been a little underneath of the weather lately. So let's get going here on this haul vid. All right. So, got some new stuff, got some awesome stuff. Um First, I want to start off by saying, guys, thank you to all my 850. Uh, yeah, definitely. Sorry if this is going to be a little slow. I got to kind of. But anyway, my buddy sent me the two slide streets I was looking for. Nissan Silvia S14 out of the premium line. Pretty cool piece. Like that one. But he also sent me this one, my friend Stanley. Thank you, Stan. This is the 39 Toyota GR Supra. All right, so next one here. Got the Legends Tour Firebird. Very cool. This is the uh, Champion. So pretty cool piece. <laughs> Buddy also sent me the Triassic 5. One of the cool pieces I've been trying to get. Very, very, very neat. Got brown tinted windows. Very, very cool. Awesome piece. I know, it sounds like I've been smoking, don't it? Buddy also sent me the Glory Chaser. Actually, no, sorry. I bought this. I have found, I'm sorry. <coughs> I found this finally, and I've been looking for the new cases, and this is going to have to go in my living room uh, rack since there's no more room with my race cars, but I thought this was pretty cool to get. It says here it would look right at home with the Can-Am cars and the Millie Miglia race champions. Very cool piece. All right, let's get on to some fantasy cars, because... I know y'all don't come to see them all the time, but there have been some pretty cool ones in the new codes. The Mighty K, very neat. One of Ryu Asada's castings, very, very cool. The uh, Mighty K, pretty neat. So, I've had a little sinus infection, and uh, yeah, kind of getting a vid for you guys. Count Muscula. Thought that was neat. Only thing I would have done is probably ditch that big giant rear wing. To me it looks like a javelin. Kind of had a baby. With a challenger a little bit. Somewhat. Or a charger and a friggin javelin together. I thought that was kind of cool. You know. Different. Don't normally collect these but. Interestingly enough the front lip splitter actually works on it. Which is pretty cool. That's a neat piece. Count Muscula. Alright. My buddy, I actually got the uh, Sierra RS Cosworth out in the wild. Thought this was pretty cool. Glad to have copped it. Pretty awesome piece. Also, now into the Fort. Now we're onto the Fords, pretty much. So, got the Golf GT. One of Ryu's rides, also. Now they're doing this now that Ryu Asada has passed away, which it's still pretty sad, guys. I mean, he was pretty much responsible for a lot of kids' childhoods, man. He definitely was. Pretty cool piece, though. I hadn't seen a uh, one of these castings ever. This is the Goodyear Ford, the F F-150. I haven't seen that yet, and I thought that was kind of different. I have not seen the F-150, and it's been kind of difficult to find one of these. I don't know when they came out. You might have to brief me. I believe this is all part of... <coughs> I believe this is all part of E-Case right now. So we're getting pretty lucky on our end. Also got the Baja Blazers Bronco. Thought that was kind of cool. I like my Broncos. Thought that was neat. Alright, so now we're going to keep moving on here. Matchbox got the new Audi TT. Thought that was pretty neat. 
And then this one here, the Dodge Durango. Don't believe this is the SRT version, but still pretty cool. Like that model a lot. The Dodge Durango. Speaking of Dodge, uh, hold on a sec. Let me get these adjusted. Got my buddy a Rebel Ram Runner. Might give this to him probably or whatever. But got the Rebel Ram Runner. Alright. So kind of going. <coughs> no chronological order. Got the classic TV series Batmobile. The uh, cartoonish one. I definitely thought this was kind of different. I thought it was pretty neat to find one of these. Pretty grateful to have gotten one. And then up here, got the Porsche 9933. Very cool piece. And this pays homage to the Moby Dick car, which is pretty deep, pretty sweet. I like that. All right, now up a Last but not least, just about second or third is the uh, Stormtrooper Lego Helmet. Real excited to have gotten this one. I have another one coming, which is a TIE Fighter Pilot <coughs> that I managed to snipe at the last minute, which I got pretty lucky on. So that one's pretty cool, man. Gotta say. All right. Last but not least, I had my tax return come in. And I didn't buy only one. I bought two. Got some grease on the box. Whoops. Bought two Street Fighters. Finally got the Nova Destroyer. My buddy Matt. Shout out to Matt for the uh, suggestions on these. I think the Destroyer is pretty cool. I like this model. I don't have a Nova in my collection, so I was waiting on... I didn't like the god-awful Warhawk, the way that mouth was on the side. But I really liked the Destroyer a ton, so... This was kind of one I had to go with, and... I love that motor, and I love how racy the interior looks, so... This looks like a proper resto mod, in my opinion. I thought that was cool. And then the last one here put this down on the chair is the uh, the uh, 1969 Plymouth Hemikuta Street Fighter hadn't seen a uh, Hemikuta in this lineup so I thought that was pretty neat very very cool car actually got opening doors hood and trunk opening wheels posable steering tilting seats you got a race shifter plumbed and wired everything very nice model Mine's actually number 76, which is a low serial, which is very cool. All right, so that is everything, and uh, I will catch you guys on the flip side. Remember, if you like this video, consider checking out the rest of the channel. Consider everything on my uh, videos. Make sure to just do your part and uh, keep us going, guys. All right, J-Man, 6-3, out.